Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lori Williams and today I want to talk to you about falling back on love. So what does that mean? Um, essentially it's when everything else around you is falling away, you make the active choice, the very conscious choice to fall back on love. Fall back on love is trust. To fall back on love is to be open. To fall back on love is to, to let go. That's the best way to put it. To let go, to let go of judgment, to let go of hate, to let go of division. The truth of it is, I mean, the world around us is a bit of a shit show. That's the truth of it. That's, and it's always been that way and it's always going to be that way. Um, it's just, that is the way it is, you know? We get to a point where if we allow ourselves to get involved in what's going on outside of us, it can definitely consume us. Um, I know I've seen people that, you know, just as an example, that have division from this whole, um, the thing, the series of events that's gone on the last few years. And although they believe to the core of who they are, that they are standing up for their rights, their freedoms, their beliefs, and all that kind of thing. What they're actually doing is putting judgment and separation and more division. Um, and I'm not saying that this is true for everybody in that situation, but I have seen it periodically uh, for myself. There's one thing to fight for what you believe in, but are you really fighting for what you believe in? to cut other people down. Like you should not have to cut other people down in order to fight for what you believe in. There is power in numbers in all of us. Love is the one thing that is going to heal all of us. Judgment and division has, has broken us and love is what we need to help to heal us. And honestly, we need each individual person's choice to get out of that rut, that cycle of you versus me, of um, my beliefs are better than your beliefs. My way of being, doing, thinking is better. Your way of being, doing, thinking. Because here's the truth on it. There is not one person in this world that has the exact same path as you. There is not one person in this world that is exactly like you that is meant to go through life the way that you are, your path is uniquely yours. So who are you to sit in judgment of anybody else on their path? Who am I to sit in judgment of anybody on their path? Who am I to sit in judgment of because you're not doing it my way, you're not doing it right? No, that's not the way this works. It's not the way this should work. I think the problem is a lot of people think that that is the way it should work. And it comes down to it that falling back on love is exactly that. It's like, you know what? I can love you unconditionally. I can look at your beliefs and I can listen to your beliefs and I can be like, you know what? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for standing up for yourself. I'm proud of you for doing what you feel is right. But if you're st sitting there and sticking up for yourself and you're doing what you feel is right, but at the sake of somebody else, that's not love. There's that. I mean, it might be love or you might think it's love, but it's conditional love. That's like saying, I will only send you love if you agree with me. That's not love. That's not absolutely not love. That's toxic. That's a lot of conditioning. That's a lot of fear. Um, and fear is the absence of love. So if you are someone who is you know, getting into arguments with people. I see this a lot in spiritual circles. And honestly, like I stay out of spiritual circles as much as possible for, there's many reasons, but this is one of them. Um, I like people will ask me, you know, like, well, what other sp spiritual people doing? I'm like, I have no idea because I don't, I have a very few like handful of people that are, are spiritual leaders like myself that I actually correspond with. I just, I, there's just too much ego still going on. And I mean, obviously as a spiritual leader, I'm not saying that you have to be over your ego, but, uh, I definitely think judgment 
should be pretty much gone <laughs> um, before you can call yourself a leader, you know, necessarily. That's just my opinion on it, but I mean, everybody has their own opinions. The one thing that honestly that got me the most is this past week, and it's been on more than one social media platform and where I have seen things pop up where it's just like people are arguing the same point, but from a different perspective. And I was like, why? Like, absolutely. Like, why? Why? This person is arguing this perspective because they need to feel safe. This person is arguing this per their perspective because they need to feel safe. The truth of it is, is they're both arguing because they don't feel safe. They don't feel safe. They don't feel secure. They don't feel grounded. So they're going to argue, argue, argue to try to get the other person to see their point of view. So then they're not alone. This, we're going about it the wrong way. What we need to have is acceptance. What we need to have is love. And until we get that, the world's going to continue being what the world is. The division, the judgment, the hate. That's what it's going to keep being. My knowing on a spiritual level about how the universe is uprising, um, is leveling up, I should say. Um, I try to put uh, rising up and leveling up <laughs> into one word and just make it my own words as I go. Um, but anyway, so the universe itself is leveling up, energetically is leveling up. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to, I don't want to be someone who goes alone. You know, like I, I work on myself a lot and I try to work on ego and I try to work on uh, judgments and I try to work on anger and things like that and triggers that come up. But it's like, and I know I've, I've had this conversation with a friend of mine who's, you know, she's very different than me, has a lot of different views, but we can, we actually, when we have these conversations, because we're both open to the conversations, we can have these kind of conversations and really understand each other's different points of view. And I'm like, if we can do it, why can't the rest of the world? And I said that to her the other day. I'm like, if we can do this, why can't the rest of the world? Like we're very close friends. We can talk very openly about anything because it's like, I still love her and respect her for who she is. And she still loves me and respects me for who I am. And it's got nothing about what we can do for each other, or what we can't do for each other. We're going to love and support each other, regardless of what our views are, what our opinions are, because that's, true love that's true love true love should not have attachment should not have um if you have nothing to gain from this person and you still show them love if they're the complete opposite of you and you still show them love that's something that's the something that's a lot that's exactly what's missing from our world that um it's when we want to have, we want to be loved or we want to love others, but we have conditions on it. That's not love. That's fear. And like I said, fear is the absence of love. Like our conditions that we put on people when we have conditional love, um, it's just to fill the own, our own voids that we have within ourselves. And honestly, I don't know about you, but maybe that's where we need to start individually. And, you know, to help the collective, to be able to move past the judgments and the fears and things like that. Because ultimately, it's, life is going to be what life is. I don't know why, like, we take things so seriously because, like, as the saying goes, no one gets out alive. And that's very true. Um, just while you're here, just do the best to help others empower others be of service to others show love where you can you know what even if love means i love you enough to let you go that's love too and i love you enough to not go through this part of your life with with you or you for you to go through this part of your life with me that's still love the hate the separation the judgment that's not love. That's fear. We definitely need to move from this fear. This has been an old paradigm for so many years. We need to move past it. It's time to move past it. Like I said, we all have to work on ourselves and that's exactly where you start. Choose to be the love that you wish to see in the world. It's up to you. And when you make that choice, I choose that choice for today and every day moving forward. Thanks so much for joining me on this video. 
Uh, I'll see you guys back here next time. Until then, take care. Bye for now.